came to Dollywood and thought I'd see Dolly, but I see little Debbie. Hey guys, today we are at Dollywood and we are standing in front of Granny Ogle's Ham and Beans, country cooking at its best. We came here last year, really enjoyed it. So we decided today we'd just go in here and try it once more. We'll show you the menu, see if they've added anything new on there. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. We're back here in Craftsman Valley, headed to Granny Ogle's. Right up this way on the right. Look at uh, here. Look who's here. Oh my goodness. They are so professional. And look, he's got a, oh wait a minute, chicken noodle. Chicken noodle, come here a minute. Oh, oh my goodness, I got so many chickens in my pocket. Yeah, that sure you got a lot of fur on your microphone. Yeah, yeah, this is my microphone. He gives little chicken interviews. Can you tell everybody why you love being at Dollywood? I just love everything. The main reason I love to come to see you here. Oh, honey, you've trained him so well. <laughs> I see you sitting across from him at those restaurants. <laughs> and I can tell he's on his best behavior. Oh, you're on your best behavior. Come over here. Check ID. Oh, look at those red feathers. You better behave, my dear, now flap your wings. Oh, you know, she's a chicken sister from way back. She come to see Miss Lily, yeah. Oh, we're glad you're here. Oh, look at that. Oh, star shining. There's apple pie coming by. We're so glad that y'all are here. Chicken blessings from Miss Lily. It's always a joy to see y'all. Now here's all the seating in Granny Ogles. It's not overly big, but it's a decent size. Notice where I'm sitting, next to the fireplace. As soon as we got here, Bobby says, I'm sitting right there. I didn't have a choice. But if you're here, you can look over in there or listen to the bands play on that stage. This is a good place to sit, right in this corner. New menu. Most of the stuff's the same from last year. They have added a few new ones, but menu's fancier. It was just a card last year. Quick story on her. It says, Granny's daughter Judy is Dolly's personal assistant and longtime friend. Dolly said that both Judy and I always went to Granny Ogle's anytime we were home because of her beans and cornbread. All right, let's just go over. Start off with these starters. Pimento cheese and pork rinds, $8.99. Spicy Southern hot corn dip. That is new and that is gluten free. Here's a picture of the pimento cheese and pork rinds. Salads and sandwiches. The new item is the chicken salad sandwich for $13.99. They have a pulled ham sandwich. There's the meatloaf stacker. Bobby's going to get that. Granny Ogle's Skillets. Meatloaf stacker, chicken pot pie, ham beans and greens. Chicken cassoulet for $14.99. This is like a chicken stew. Pit ham dinner, and this is new, black bean nachos. Scratch made desserts. The new one on here is the peanut butter explosion and the kids menu. There's banana pudding. We had that last year. So we'll link up last year's video with this one because we're getting different stuff than we did on that one. I'll just show you again real quick what's gluten-free and vegan. The corn dip, the vegetarian black bean nachos. There's your desserts. The gluten-free vegan brownie is available. Here's one of the new items, the spicy southern hot corn dip. 
It's a creamy, spicy, hot dip of corn, jalapenos, scallions, red bell peppers, cream cheese, and crisp corn tortilla chips. That looks pretty good. Have Bobby try that first. Get me a big helping there. Try to. Chips have a nice salty flavor to them. Nice and fresh. It reminds me of a queso flavor to it. It's, I don't get a lot of spiciness, which is good. I really like this. All right, guys, I'm going to try it, but you can tell these are fresh. Listen to that. Nice and crispy, not stale. Let's get some in there. This is a great little appetizer. I do like what it tastes like. Bobby said, a little bit of spice, not overly spicy. Some red peppers in there. Has some jalapeno peppers chopped up in there. Great item to add. I mean, before all they had was the pork rinds, but these chips are very fresh and nice and crunchy. You guys want to try it? See what you think. Food has arrived. I ordered the new chicken salad sandwich. Look at that. It has the orange cranberry nut bread in it. Look at Bobby's meatloaf stacker with the mashed potatoes and a big old hunk of meatloaf. And she ordered a piece of cornbread with that. Already got the butter on there. All right, let's get started. Let's just go over what Bobby's is. It says it's Dollywood's famous meatloaf with tomato glaze stacked on a mountain of mashed potatoes, green beans, buttered bread, and brown gravy. Yep, I see some green beans on there. That is a big slice of meatloaf. Love all the brown gravy on there. It really looks good. Try to get a little bit of everything. Now the green beans are underneath the meatloaf. I love the mashed potatoes. You can tell that they're homemade. The brown gravy, but the tanginess of the tomato glaze that they have on it gives you a little bit of a sweet flavor that was a lot to try all at once I guess you could section it off but I just still amazed at that meatloaf look how big that is that's what uh, $14.99 yeah $14.99 for this the meatloaf is nice and tender when I cut it got a little piece of the brown bread there it's not a huge piece of bread because I know you're probably thinking you got cornbread and <laughs> bread. I'm always a fan of the sweet. This is so soft it's almost like eating a piece of cake. Um, it's got that nice sweet flavor to it. Now I put some butter on it, but you don't need butter. You can eat this without it. Very good. So you see why Dolly went to Granny Ogle's house? I definitely can. Excellent recipe. All right, let's take a look at the new chicken salad sandwich. They gave me some grapes, some kettle chips. This bread, I was told, was baked right here at the bakery where the uh, cookies and the cupcakes are from. It is the cranberry orange nut bread. Never had that before. Some fresh green leaf lettuce on there. Pretty good chunk of chicken salad made fresh. Has some tomatoes in it. Pick it up. It's a pretty good size. Let's just go at it right here. First thing I did was take off some of this lettuce. There was a lot on there. This bread, guys, is so soft. It has a little crunch to it, I guess, with the cranberries in there and the nuts. But this chicken salad is very good. Nice tender chicken in there. The crunch of the grapes. I do like this. This is a great addition also. Bread is the main reason this sandwich stands out, the freshness of it. I can have Bobby try this because Bobby loves chicken salad. Even before I taste this, I know this bread's going to be good because that bakery does a great job with it. Their cupcakes are always so fresh and their cookies, so I'm anxious to get into this. Very good chicken salad, but I could just eat this bread by itself. I mean, that is so soft. I love it with the cranberries in there. Now, the more I eat this, the more I like the chicken salad on there, too. It's so nice and creamy, but the, the chicken comes through. But again, one more time, like Bobby said, and I said earlier, it's the bread on this sandwich. This will be a good item for you guys to get. And this costs, what, uh, $14? 
you're going to pay that up there for like that little salad we got the other day for 10 bucks. You come back here and get this. These are just regular kettle chips too. Nothing fancy about them. And a few grapes for your side. I'm going to try some of this famous meatloaf. That meatloaf has a great flavor with that tomato glaze they're using on there. That shines through nice and tender. And a little crunch of the green peppers. I do like that, but I like the chicken salad sandwich better. Let's take a look at our receipt. Bobby's beverage was $3.29. The spicy corn dip, $8.99. Chicken salad sandwich, $13.99. Meatloaf, $14.99. She added that piece of cornbread on for $0.99. Cents. And then we saved $6.34 with our gold pass for a grand total of $39.77. Look at these chairs, Bobby. The Professional Porch Sitters Union. I should be a part of this. I love sitting on the porch in a rocking chair. Well, get up there and get on it. Now you are a part of the Professional Porch Sitters Union. How's it feel? Well, we just left Granny Ogles after having lunch. What did you think about it, Bobby? I want to give a shout out to our waiter, Daryl. He did a great job. I enjoy coming here and sitting on that porch. It just reminded me of being in my grandmother's house. Now you saw, I got the mile high meatloaf. I mean, that thing was probably about that thick, if not thicker. Had the uh, tomato glaze on it. That was very good with the mashed potatoes and green beans. Now we wanted to save room for dessert, but we ended up with the new appetizer. I'm glad we tried that. That was very um, good. The chips were nice and fresh. That's just another reason for us to come back to try that cake out, because it's new. It is. And going out of the restaurant, we got to see Miss Lillian. We love her. Yeah, if you guys ever come to Dollywood, make sure to come back in this area. Well, she travels everywhere around here, but back in this area is normally where she is at. I had the new chicken salad sandwich. One word for that, fresh. Everything about that, the bread, the lettuce that was on it, and the chicken salad, I enjoyed that. Guys, we're going to tell you the same thing as I think we told you last year. Best deal in this park. Bobby's, like she said, I think it was $15. Mine was $14. You cannot go wrong with that. You're going to pay $11 or $12 at these other places just for one sandwich. Here you're getting a full meal. Plus you get to sit down on that front porch and maybe get lucky and listen to some music. A great place to come in this park. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J and B have left the building.